What is going on guys? Welcome back. If it is your first time, welcome. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, but I know nonetheless that you guys are really, really going to enjoy it. Now, a lot of you guys know about sneaker collecting, but you know, the reason I titled it the way I did is to pull in the people that don't know about sneakers, that don't know that there are people that actually collect sneakers. And this is actually one of the most craziest Jordan collections that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like when I went to this guy's house, I was blown away. Um, we were blessed enough that Beth's cousin allowed us to come into his house, record a sneaker collection for you guys so legit nation without further ado I hope you guys enjoy it the vlogs will be back shortly I'm just getting revamped and we will begin legit season three in a bit but for now enjoy this video What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on Legit Vlogs. Today I am here at the most insane Air Jordan collection I've ever seen in my entire life. Like literally some of these Jordans I haven't seen in years and years so it's crazy taking me back to this Air Jordan collection. Guys, I wanted to share this with you guys. Beth's cousin actually hooked it up and let us film here in his place of his Air Jordan collection. So I'm really excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's get into this collection. Okay guys, so starting off, we're gonna start off with the smallest number to the biggest number. So first of all, you got the hair ones. Now he said these aren't the newest ones. He's had these for a while and they're in really, really great condition. I'm gonna try to go pretty fast by the way because we got a lot of shoes to cover and not that much time. So let's continue on. You got the black cement threes. This is definitely one of my favorites. He said that this is like one of his beater shoes, which a lot of people like to make them as beater shoes just because this shoe can pretty much go with anything. We have the True Blue Threes, another one of his beaters, and these aren't the newest ones. Doesn't have the Nike Air on the back, it has the Air Jordan, uh, just a great shoe as well. We got the Fire Red Threes. Now these I've never had the opportunity to have, of having in my collection, but I would love to have these in my collection one day. Powder Blue Threes, I've never had these in my collection. I have friends that own these and they absolutely love them. Just an all blue sneaker. It's a great sneaker to wear with like a blue outfit or whatever. Now this sneaker is probably gonna be the only one that I don't know the name of. So, we're just gonna skip over this one. Let's continue. The Infrared 3s. Now, I know this is one of the newer shoes that just came out. I'm really, really liking this shoe, seeing it in person. I've never owned this before, but it just looks like a great shoe. It can go with a lot of outfits and stuff. The Wolf Gray 3s. This shoe right here just screams, go Spurs, go. The Motorsport Blue 3s. Great shoe, Recent re recently released. I didn't pick them up, but it's a great shoe nonetheless. Now, right here, man. The three M's. This shoe is just absolutely sick. Um, I remember when these released, everybody was going crazy about them. It is, I've never seen a shoe like it before and I don't think there will ever be a shoe as crazy as this one ever. If you shine the flashlight on it, it will shine back at you. Now I'm not sure of this name, but I believe these are the Flip 3's. Now one of the things I really, really like about the shoe is all the interior is all leather. It's a great shoe. It's a great shoe to own and uh, I for sure want a pair of these one day. Second row, we got these fours. This one came in the fear pack. I remember these were pretty expensive when I was when they came out. Um, they were reselling for like 300, which was at the time I was, it was super expensive for me. Um, I know my boy Big John picked them up, and uh, it's a pretty cool pair of shoes. This one right here, guys. This one right here is definitely a piece of legit history because this was my first pair of Air Jordans. This is the pair that absolutely started it all. I definitely need them back in my collection, but I had to let them go when I needed money in high school. But this is definitely gonna go down as one of my favorite Jordans ever. Shoes ever. We got the Military Blue Fours. This was one of the first Jordans I've ever seen before I actually started rocking Jordan. And you got the Bread Fours, which everybody loves this shoe. This shoe right here means a lot to me too because it got like my YouTube channel to kick off because when I was doing flea market videos, I bought these at the flea market for $18. So if y'all haven't seen the first like trip to the thrift number four, Go watch it because I really did find these at the flea market and I got them for like $18. We got that Oreo Air Jordan 4s. Just a great shoe to wear. And then you got the Cav 4s. I'm pretty sure when LeBron went back to the Cavs, a lot of you guys were rocking this shoe again. The White Cement 4s. And no, this is not the one with the Nike Air on them. White Cement 4s, a great shoe. Classic. We got the Fire Red 4s. Guys, this shoe right here. One time I found it at the thrift store for 50 bucks and I traded my friend for the DMP sevens, crazy shoe, crazy shoe. The Olympics, guys, we got the Olympic sixes with the uh, silver aglets at the end of the shoe. I thought this was a great touch and this was one of the first Air Jordans that I've ever seen. This actually helped me get into shoes, well, sneakers in general. And then you have the sevens and a crazy story behind the sevens is that I actually had a pair of these once, they turned out to be fake and uh, I got rid of them on eBay. So uh, don't tell anyone about that. Carmine Six is a great shoe. I really need these. I've never owned these before, but it's an amazing shoe. 
and then you got the infrared sixes. Coming down to the next row, we got some more Air Jordan sixes. This one is actually really, really good quality. Um, I've never seen these in person, but we also got the uh, Motorsport Blue sixes. These recently came out, and it's just a really clean blue and white colorway. We got the Oreo fours. This shoe and this pair of shoes right here, I bought at the same exact time. I remember it was one Christmas, and some guy really, really needed the money, so I was on Facebook, and uh, he gave me both of these shoes for a really, really good price. Um, also, this is definitely one of my favorite Jordans ever, the Great Fives. It's a great colorway. <laughs> Guys, if I said it wrong, I meant to say Oreo Fives, not the Oreo Fours. We got a lot of shoes here, guys. So try not to judge. We got a lot of shoes in here, and I'm doing my best trying to show you guys. We got the Fire Red Fives with the silver tongue. They made Fire Red Fives with the black tongue and the silver tongue. I had these. I asked for them for Christmas one year, and I got them, but I didn't want them, so I resold them. Again, on Facebook for like 100 bucks. And then you got the black Grape Fives. These I never had in my collection, but I think it's a great shoe, especially um, since I love the white Grape Fives, but I definitely like the white ones better than the black ones. And we're a little bit mixed up here, but I believe this is like one of the only pairs of eights. Um, I believe they call this like the Phoenix eights. Pretty cool shoe. And moving on, we got the Jordan 10s, all blacked out Jordan 10. This one was really, really nice. Um, Kind of like a <laughs> alternative to the OVOs. We got some more tens. Uh, whew, Chicago or double nickel? Chicago or double nickel? Let me know down in the comments down below. And then we got the cool gray nines. These look so much better in person than they do on the website. Um, Bethany, when I first started dating her, wanted to buy me this shoe, except she told me she was gonna buy my flight club, so I immediately stopped her and told her that was a terrible decision. We got some more Jordan nines here. Really good condition. Uh, looks like they barely wore these. Really nice shoe. Continuing on Legion Nation, we got the Powder Blue Tens. My boy JP was after these for a while. Um, didn't end up getting them, but still, cool shoe. Found these in the thrift store once. I don't mess around, kids. The Gamma Blue 11s. This shoe, everyone was insane for when these came out. Like, I remember when I was selling shoes, I had people messaging me just to see if I had this shoe, which I had it once and it sold like immediately. And then we got the Cool Gray 11s. This shoe I've never had in my collection. After seeing it in person, I need to get a pair of these shoes. Like this shoe just looks so clean, especially with the white laces. This is a necessity in my collection. The Bread 11s, a lot of people's grail, sometimes their favorite shoe ever. This shoe was super, super hyped. I remember back in the days, if you had these and this was your favorite pair of sneakers, a lot of people would call you a hype beast. Hype beast is used way more nowadays, but this was like the hypest pair of J's like ever. And then you got my favorite pair of J's ever, which is the Concord 11s. The reason why I call it Concord is because of the purple on the bottom. Just a black and white sneaker. I love this sneaker because I always felt like it was a shoe that I could wear out and a shoe that I could wear to get married. So I didn't end up getting married in them, but it was still a good idea, I guess. <laughs> now we come to the low 11s. We got the Tuxedo 11s. This shoe I've never had in my collection. It's a really, really nice shoe. Um, and this one I feel like you could dress it up or dress it down with. And then you got the Cherry 11s. This is just an all great summer shoe, and I definitely would rock it out. The Concord 11 Lows, I actually got these before my first pair of 11s. This was actually my first pair of 11s, the Concord 11 Lows. When these first came out, I had to buy them for back to school, and I fell in love with these shoes so much that I wanted the actual Concord. So after that, I sold these, and I got myself an actual pair of Concords, the high top ones or the mid tops. And then you have these infrared 11s with the little cement print on the back. Snake skin 11s, green and black. And then, we're a little bit mixed up here guys, but we got a pair of 13s right here, the reflective ones. Pretty cool pair. Um, <laughs> this looks crazy in real life. I don't know how it looks on camera, but it looks pretty wild from my perspective. Now going backwards, I told you guys we were a little bit mixed up. We got the Bugs Bunny 8s, and we got the Playoff 8s. Both great shoes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Jordan 8s. I've had them in the past, but it's just a really, really hot shoe. So if I had a pair of Jordan 8s, I would prefer to like wear them in the winter because, yeah, it makes my feet sweat. <laughs> Air Jordan 9s. This is a really, really clean pair. He's taking care of this pair. I can see. The Gamma Blue 12s. I used to have these. I found them at a thrift as well. And they're just a really comfortable shoe. They sold on the website though, but if you guys want to cop some merch or you guys want to cop some shoes, website link in the description down below. Pretty much everything is sold out, but you might be able to cop yourself a steal. We got the Rising Sun 
12s, an all-white sneaker. I couldn't imagine stepping into mud with these because it would just be a nightmare. The Taxi 12s, pretty much like my second favorite 12 in the game, um, just because it's a simple all-black and white sneaker, not to mention the gold. I really, really like when I have gold on my shoes. I don't know what it is, but I really like that. And then we got the cool gray 12s. Again, I found these at a thrift store one time and I was rocking these for the longest time and back in the day I wanted to sell these on Facebook, but I was like charging like a hundred bucks and they were like beaters So some dude got super mad and like wanted to like call me out on like every Facebook page Definitely definitely like these 12s. I don't have them in my collection yet Kind of like a Dallas Cowboy type of colorway if you guys are Cowboys fans out there Let me know down in the description, but yeah, these are beaters as well so I'm gonna show you guys the 14s real quick and then we'll skip back to the 13s. We got the final last shot 14s, um, very comfortable shoe and you got the cherry 14s, pretty cool shoe as well. I've had both of these in my collection before, um, but they're both now gone from my collection. But I do have the DMP 14s and that's the only pair of 14s I have right now. Cherry 13s, now this pair in particular looks really, really sick. And after seeing this pair, I really want them in my collection because they look really, really nice. The Flint 13s, I just picked these up off of the GOAT app, so if you guys haven't seen the video where I do the $100 GOAT app challenge, go check it out. Um, but these shoes are really, really nice, and they're in good, they're in like a good structure, but there's a little bit of mud on them, so we'll ignore that. I'm not really sure what these are called, um, but Jordan 13s. If I had to guess, I would say the playoff 13s, but uh, guys, there's so many sneakers in this collection. My mind is going crazy already. Got some more 13s in the collection, the bread 13s, and some more 13s. This 13, I would win in my collection. It's really nice, I really like this colorway. And then last but not least, we got a couple of pairs of the foam posits. Um, I believe these are the gumdrops and some other pairs. But that does it for the retros outside of the box. Now it's time to go into the retros inside of the box and I saved the best for last because these are like the best shoes in his collection so let's get into that right now. Jordan 1 Barons. I'm gonna say Barons. I'm not 100% sure this is the exact shoe but if not it is the Baron colorway. Um, this is the second pair of ones he has in his collection. He's not a huge one collector but this is in really really good condition guys. It, it's really really nice shoe. And then we got some tens that he also left dead stock. So a lot of these shoes that you guys are about to see are left in dead stock condition, but a lot of them are pure heat. Next up, we got some bread 12s. This sneaker right here has to be my favorite Jordan 12 beside the OVOs. It just, it's just an amazing shoe. I really like the leather quality on this and it's a super comfortable shoe. It's very comfortable, I had to have it. The Ferrari 14s, one of the cleanest shoes ever made, ever, ever made. As you guys can see, it was inspired by a Ferrari silhouette on the Jordan 14. I think the whole Jordan 14 was inspired by Ferrari, um, but this shoe right here is hard to get and I need it in my collection. But this is the type of shoe that you're gonna wanna break out for very special occasions. Going back to when Kanye was signed with Nike before Adidas, the Yeezy Foam Posits. This shoe, I believe, is in dead stock condition. I could be wrong, but it is in dead stock condition. Um, the whole Nike Air is on the bottom of the shoe. It's even factory lace. So Yeezy foam posits, if you guys didn't know, um, there was like Yeezy Roshis, Yeezy foam posits, and then there was the Yeezy ones and twos when it came to like Nike and stuff. But this shoe right here, man, this was the old days, the old Kanye. Next up, we have the Laning 5s, which in my opinion, this is the most comfortable Jordan 5. I don't know what it is about the Laning's, but I really, really liked it when I tried them on. And then you got the Fire Red 5, just a classic, an OG shoe, one of the first colorways to ever, ever, ever release. I have a pair of these from like the 90s that I found at the thrift. They're all crumbled, but this shoe, it's still like, it's still fresh. It's not even yellowing. It's a great shoe to keep dead stock. The black infrared sixes, these are left dead stock as well. And this is the newer release. So the material on this one is a little bit different from the older material, um, but it does have a little bit of a reflection on it. I know a lot of people went super crazy when these came out. And uh, if you guys have a pair of these, comment down below. All right, guys. So next up, we got the closing ceremony 11 lows. I had to pick these up in my size. Um, they actually had a restock at finish line. And when I saw them, I tried them on and I fell in love with the sneaker. So this shoe is really hard to wear with a lot of stuff just because it's super like in your face type of gold. But I, like I said guys, I love gold shoes so I had to have this sneaker. We got the like black 3M. This right here is like a subtle, you know, it's not such a screaming in your face type of deal. But this shoe right here, this. You hear that kids? Yeah, I hear that on every Jordan. Gamma Blue 11s. Now when I saw these, I was like, bro, you doubled up on them and this pair, it's still fresh, which was a super smart move, because like I said, 
and his other pair. People went crazy over these. So to keep these dead stock, this is an investor right here, man. This is an investment straight up. Don't invest in stocks, kids. Invest in J's. We got the three Lab 5's dead stock as well. More of a rarer kick in the collection. This is just a crazy sneaker. Um, yeah, I mean, what more can you say about it? It's just a crazy sneaker and the quality is pretty good. Next, we got the Lightning 14 still in a pristine condition. Man, these, these are sick. Like, I really, really want these in my collection. Um, it's just a beautiful shoe. I mean, Beth found these once at the outlet and I told her to pick them up, but I was too, too late or something. They didn't have my size, but this shoe is great. The Legend Blue 11, one of the cleaner Jordan 11s, in my opinion. This shoe is pretty much, I would say, a summer shoe, but I mean, you can pretty much wear it any time of the year. I remember when these came out, people went crazy for them. These fives. You gotta watch where you're, where you're stepping with these fives because if you get something on these fives, you're gonna mess them up. But it is a great shoe to wear with like a Spurs jersey or, you know, wearing it to a Spurs game, this white and silver colorway. It's a great shoe, man, especially for the summer. Cigar Sixes. When I first saw this shoe, I thought this little ring thing on here was gonna be plastic, but it's actually metal. And this shoe is super sick, man. Um, I remember when these came out, they were really, really hard to grab. It was limited and I did not get my chance to grab these, but this shoe. This is the first time I've seen it in real life, by the way. That's how you know that they're a rare sneaker. The GMP pack, Golden Moments pack, came with the sixes and the sevens. Now, buying the pack, I wanted the sixes. However, when I bought the pack, I fell in love so much with the sevens. The suede on here is a suede like no other shoe, and you can wear this sneaker with a lot of stuff. Again, guys, he doubled up on the Toro Bravo Fours, which is my first ever sneaker. To find this in this condition is gonna be pretty pricey, but I will get myself a pair of Toros once again to add to my collection, because I did get rid of these when I did need money. Um, but, you know, that was, you know, when I was in high school, so who doesn't need money, right? <laughs> this six right here, oh yeah. This one is an expensive rare sneaker. The leather quality on this is great. And um, this is a dead stock sneaker as well. The Spider-Man foams, still in a dead stock condition, still factory laced. I've never seen the Spider-Man foams in person. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen this shoe in person, but wow, just wow, man. Finishing off the collection last, but definitely not least, we got the Fresh Prince Fives. This shoe, I remember, I slept on it, and then I found out they were going for prices like $500. So to see this in a day stock condition is definitely something that you will not see any day, like ever. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more sneaker collections, I know we don't really do too many sneaker collections, but hey guys, if you think you have a sneaker collection that can beat this sneaker collection, reach out to me. My business email is down below. I love to go to your place or, you know, your sneaker room and check out your sneaker collection again big shout out to beth's cousin for welcoming me into his house welcoming us, us to his collection this was a great video and i don't think that i'll ever see a collection of just jordans like this ever again um could be wrong though email me if you guys want me to you know do your collection but other than that guys that's gonna wrap it up from here thank you guys so much for watching and uh that'll be it so we're out of here Today's social media shout out goes to WJ underscore 953. Thank you so much for liking all my Instagram photos and being an active member on my social medias. Guys, to get a social media shout out, all you guys gotta do is go follow me on social medias down below. Also, make sure you like this video if you enjoyed that sneaker collection. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna be a part of the family. Like I said, guys, we got a lot of stuff going on in the background, a lot of stuff that is gonna be better on for you guys. I can't wait to show you guys the huge surprise we have coming up shortly. But I hope you guys have a very happy Halloween. Stay safe out there, guys don't trust strangers and don't take candy from strangers make sure you open your candy before you eat it because you don't know what's in there and uh stay safe don't get too crazy at any halloween parties stay smart and i love you guys and uh the word of the day today comes from psalms 5 11 through 12 it says but let all who take refuge in you rejoice let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them that those who love your name may exult in you for you bless the righteous oh lord you cover him with favor as a shield Guys, God is good. God is great. Make sure you trust in him today. No matter what you're going through, um, love God, love people, and your life will be better. Guys, I hope you have a very blessed rest of the day. If you guys want to see more sneaker collection videos, let me know down below. And uh, make sure you thumbs up this video. If this video can hit 2,000 thumbs, that's all I'm asking, 2,000 thumbs up, we will do my sneaker collection video. 
um, shortly. So let me know if you guys want to see an updated 2018 sneaker collection video. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here.